Hey there, SolarLoon here, and this is another pixel art tutorial video. Uh, this one talking about um, detail. Now, it's interesting because when you look at pixel art, a lot of good pixel art is good because it knows when and where to leave out detail. When you add too much detail into pixel art, it can look cluttered, it can look crowded, it can look um, awkward, and really just kind of uh, ugly. So you want to know when you should add more detail, when you should lay off, uh, how to portray detail, how to properly kind of uh, show things. So I'm going to go into that a little bit using our, the help of my little uh, sprite here, an armadillo kind of char uh, little character. Um, okay, so this is uh, an armadillo, so naturally it should have scales, right? It should have scales, it should have um, layers, and this is dithering. This is where I basically use a, a crosshatch pattern to show kind of texture or to um, show a difference in color between this darker color and this lighter color. Now, this is not really the right way to do it where you just make a blanket like crosshatch over the, the sprite. That doesn't really work. You could do it somewhat like this where you kind of do the edges, um, but this still doesn't really get across the idea of layers, the idea of kind of uh, parts, separate parts. Um, and so what I ended up doing was two different approaches. Uh, with this approach, I tried, as you can see, kind of drawing each layer, uh, I'm sorry, each kind of scale and, and kind of uh, you know, rendering it like that. And it turned out not bad. I was kind of expecting it to be worse than, than, it, than it actually was. You see, it kind of looks like uh, uh, an armadillo composed of different spikes, right? Which is not bad. Now, over here, though, what I did was basically I used light to portray the idea of, of spikes, the idea of layers. So rather than drawing each individual layer, I drew basically the highlights of this armadillo shell, but with breaks in between it, where the highlight, you know, falls off. And that indicates, oh, it's supposed to be like separate pieces. And you see how I'm, I'm kind of... Um, kind of uh, uh, darkening the backside of the armadillo because it's in the darkness, but I'm doing it gradually or, or over kind of pieces. You see, I'm kind of breaking it up because of these individual uh, shapes. And as we go along, you see I'm kind of falling off a little bit more there, and I'm drawing a little bit more here, and then it looks not bad, but then once I start doing this where I, I make the darkness come up into the, the light areas of the uh, scales. That's when it really kind of starts to, to feel pretty, pretty solid. It feels much more like this. Uh, even after I, I add the, the kind of highlight and specular here, it still doesn't look quite as good because it feels more, um, it feels busy, right? It feels really, really heavy. So I guess what uh, over here is it, it's uh, clusters. You're work, I'm working with clusters, pixel clusters. I'm working with blocks of color rather than individual pixels. I'm trying to portray the idea uh, of shell of a shell or a bumpy material rather than trying to use pixels to, to draw that. So that's a lot of what good pixel art is, is just knowing when and how to properly portray uh, detail and not really trying to push detail more then you can kind of support. When you try to do more than is really uh, possible to to properly or easily portray in pixel art, it tends to be a little a little funky, and not in a good way. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's something to consider. It's definitely something to consider and something to think about. Um, what you uh, might want to do is look at, for example, fighting game sprites. They tend to be pretty pretty solid, especially Capcom sprites, uh, SNK sprites. I can play more at this point, I suppose. Um, but basically, with fighting games rights, they tend to work at a scale in which a character can have like a one pixel large finger or a one pixel large, uh, like their hands are are pretty well proportioned. Where if they need to do like have a uh, character pointing at someone, they'll do it. But for the most part, they don't try to draw each individual finger in the sprite. They don't try to draw like each, you know. They don't try to do that. They instead use blocks of color to properly portray a hand. And I'll just do a quick um, demonstration here. For example, if I was going to do a, a guy, uh, let's say, doing a you know a, a fist, uh, having a fist like this, um, you so see how I'm starting off basically with just the general shape. I'm not starting off with like each individual finger to compose the fist. I'm just starting with the shape. And some people would 
might do something like this where you try to draw like each individual finger like this and it's like no that's not really you see it's, it's too much detail i'm trying to do too much detail for the for the area for the size of sprite i have so instead i'm going to focus on just the big parts which is the uh thumb like that and then i'm going to just fudge over the rest of everything i'm just gonna basically say okay this is all because you know this is the thumb here you know that this is probably supposed to be the, the fist of course and once you do that, then it's pretty simple to just kind of like anti-alias it a little bit. Um, you can choose to draw like some level of um, fingers, but the more you draw, the more it kind of gets awkward. So you kind of want to be be careful and, and you know, uh, kind of draw things in such a way to minimize your, your kind of... Uh, it minimize that awkward feeling like that like you know the i'm not really trying to draw each individual finger i'm just trying to get across the idea hey this is a fist you know and it's a little awkwardly drawn i'm, I'm not gonna lie this isn't a perfect <laughs> fist of course but um you see the the effect is it's very much a game of trying to portray that's pretty good trying to portray um you know a, a large amount of information in a small amount of space by using a you know as little uh detail and as little kind of distraction as possible so i'm not you know drawing each finger i'm not trying to draw uh you know it like really well lit or anything like that i'm just getting the idea across that this is a fist and this is you know heading in this direction and this is what it looks like i'm not really trying to get everything perfect so that's fine that's fine all right well anyway uh thank you very much for watching i've been solar loon this has been a short little pixel art tutorial video on um Hopefully I, my volume isn't too loud, but a short little pixel art tutorial video on uh, basically level of detail, I guess you could call it. Um, knowing how much detail to portray in a, in a pixel art picture. Alright, well, uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and uh, yeah, you have fun. See ya.